Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and... Well, it's time to go after Dr. Wily. Really neat uh, sound and effects. Although I feel that uh, once you've seen all of Wily's different fortresses, they all just sort of start to blend together. Oh, really? We have disappearing blocks, we have those platforms. Those evil platforms. Overall, though, the disappearing block sections in this game are not nearly as difficult. And we have Mega Man 4 boss battle music. This guy's weak to Spark Shock. And he's not too bad. And that gets us a teleporter. So, a neat little in-between stage, and now we have four guys from Mega Man 4, including the three Ds. Dive Man, Dust Man, and Drill Man. Well, we'll save them, and we'll go to Skull Man first. Because I like barrier weapons, and I like this guy's music. Did my weapons recharge? Well, they did from that. We'll see if they recharge. I believe they do recharge between stages here. It was just, uh... I could be wrong on that. Hello. And these skeleton Joes are back. We still need a charge shot to take them down. Alright, let's pull out some special weapons. Like Shadow Blade. Oh, I thought you were only going to take one shot. That's a ripoff. Gemini laser. Quite a powerful weapon, and I think it was. Ow. Yo. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna skip all this. Oh. I thought I was gonna catch both bats with the laser there. Oh, hi, Eddie. That's not a one off. That was convenient. For a second I thought that was... Tight jumps. Well, here's the game over screen. Again, Eddie, that's not the most helpful thing you could be doing. I've always felt that Mega Man 3 had some of the uh, tightest jumps in the Game Boy series. I'm not even going to attempt that. Also, I believe Skull Man stage is probably the longest out of uh, these four guys. I could be wrong on that as well, but... Well, that wasn't efficient. Let's use Snake. Snake is efficient. Uh... Okay, well... 
We don't need to defeat every enemy. We will, however, defeat you. Oh. That's a sign that we need to go to Drill Man next. Well, maybe not next, but... Oh, here's where you need Rush Coil to make this jump. Otherwise, bad things will start to happen. Hey! Oh, that was cheap. You're dying for that. Uh, once you get to... I, I always thought that this uh, section of the stage looked really cool. Uh, once you get to this section, you're in the final stretch. Take the lower path to deal with him. Do you have any idea how much I don't trust this jump? Again, there's some really tight jumps in there, and I don't believe Skullman's weak to any of this, so... No, oh, you don't sit there and do nothing like you do in, uh... How did that hit me? This is not going well at all. Ow. Even that barrier. Got him. I'm assuming he can still shoot out his normal shots, uh, even though we didn't see him do that. And we get the skull barrier, which is Dive Man's weakness. And this is not an outdoorsy stage like it was in the NES version, so that's another interesting thing to note about the uh, design here. There's a lot more spikes in this version. Oh, you're still here. What are you weak to? Oh, can you be weak to spark? No, that'd be too convenient. And take a big leap over the spikes to get to well, an area with more spikes. Sliding is your best friend there. Well, we do have water physics, so we move a little bit slower uh, in the air. That was very nice. And uh, we can also jump super high, so be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Ah, Dive Man really has become the land of spikes. Yeah, we don't need that. Not that efficient, but it got the job done. We're going into another... Ow. Yo, 
Okay, that was also not efficient. Do be careful about making a super big jump on uh, the previous screen because you might, you, know, you might end up directly in line with uh, those ceiling spikes. Really surprised we survived that. Oh, you were actually useful in this stage, Eddie. Thank you. Well, this doesn't look pleasant. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. And so now we have water going up and down, and this time it, uh... It really matters as far as being able to jump these gaps. Yeah, yeah. Really close spike jump. There's lots of them in this game. And I also do think that the uh, later four stages are more difficult than the first four. If you haven't uh, gathered that notion already. Keep holding the charge shot just because of those stingrays. They annoy me, and charge shots take them out in uh, one go. Ah. More spikes. I'm not going to wait for you to explode. And just like the NES version, Dive Man's probably easier to fight with the uh, Mega Buster. Even though it doesn't appear that way. Wow, he can release those missiles really quickly. Maybe the barrier would have been decent against him. Regardless, we won. Another thing we lost from uh, Mega Man 4 for the Game Boy was the uh, weapon demonstration. We don't get that anymore.